guy, that's the kind of guy Russell is. He lets the new guys, he's a local guy from Jacksonville, and he's getting an opportunity to be on a Russell Peters show. Pretty fucking cool of Russell to do that, right? Now, let me check if he's here. So, I had to ask him his last name, because he's got a fucked up name like me. So, are you guys ready? We're going to give him some love. He's going to come up for five minutes. They're going to have great lesbian midget wrestling. Ben Russell, how's that? Is that good? Fuck yeah. It's Sunday night in Jacksonville. Where the fuck are you going to go? Fuck. So, here's your, I'm going to bring on your first guy's special guest. This guy's a, a new comic. He's developing. And he's here for you tonight. So, Jacksonville, let's, let's show some love. Don't stop, don't stop, keep it going, keep it going. Yes! Simon says, stop! You're out, you're out, you're out. Yes. Now, I'm pretty good at that game. Now, judging by the looks on your faces, I know what you guys are probably thinking right now. Damn, this guy resembles someone extremely famous. And you're probably thinking Brad Pitt. No, no Brad Pitt? What about Jesus? Yeah? Now, ever since I grew out my hair, that's all I get. I get these slick ass comments of people. What's going on, Jesus? What's up, fat Jesus? And it's cool. I can play along. But they seem to get it so extremely emotional when I respond with something like, nothing much, just hanging around, <laughs> telling jokes. Oh, that, uh, too soon? 2,000 years too soon? Come on, guys, give me a break. Now, um, my name is actually Mirza, and, uh, woo! and I wanted to let you in on a little secret of mine. I absolutely hate Starbucks. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Heartbreaker. But it's not because of products. It's because of the people that work there. They just can never seem to get my name right. So the few times that I've been there, I always yell out my favorite drink order. Strawberries and cream frappuccino for Queerza. <laughs> they always seem to catch me off guard where I'm like, yes? <laughs> but um, I'm originally, I actually do have a different story than most people. Um, I'm actually from Bosnia. And uh, thank you. I don't know if any of you have ever heard of Bosnia. <laughs> but uh, we don't really have much to offer anymore. Other than scenery, history, and hardworking immigrants, we're basically the Mexico of Europe. <laughs> I do have a different story. Uh, while your average American kid was getting sent out to a, uh, to a fat camp, I was sent out to a concentration camp. And I lived there for about six months, and I decided it would be smart to run off into the woods with some of the kids there. My dad thought that I was dead. But when I came back, I was so excited to see him. I thought he was excited to see me too, but then he proceeded to beat the living shit out of me just to show me how much he loved me. And now I finally understand how much Chris Brown loved Rihanna. <laughs> now, um, my dad, we've been living here for about 18 years, and he hasn't grasped the American culture quite so well. I mean, just uh, about a year ago, we were watching the NBA playoffs, and as we're watching the game, he starts asking me all these random ass questions. Mirza son, what is this? Mirza son, what is that? What is technical foul? What is kick ball? Which one LeBron James? <laughs> After about 15, 20 minutes of pure frustration and hell, I'm trying to explain to him in two different languages, I'm pissed off. But he looks so excited. Yeah, he looks me dead square in the eye and he says, I don't like this shit. Change it to soccer. <laughs> but my uncle, who's my dad's brother, he's even more oblivious to the American culture than my dad is. We can do certain things in Bosnia that you guys can't do here. Such things as drinking and driving. <laughs> so I remember being in a motorcade a few years back for a wedding. My uncle's driving, and I'm riding passenger seat. My uncle casually reaches down to his cup holder, grabs a Mike's Hard Lemonade, and starts chugging away right as the cop is passing by us. I'm like, what the hell are you doing? You can't drink that, that's alcohol. He said, what, this? This alcohol? No way. No way. This is limonada. 
but it gets worse. I remember being about 11, 12 years old, and we're pulling up to a Burger King drive-through. Game plan was, we're gonna pull up, we're gonna order four Whoppers and four Cokes. So we pull up, the girl says, welcome to Burger King, may I take your order, please? My dad looks back at all of us in the car with such a proud look on his face. He says, hello, can I get the four hookers? <laughs> And four cocks, please. <laughs> you know, now that I'm much, much older, and I think back on this event in my life, my dad really did have the right mindset, considering that we were right off of Phillips Highway. <laughs> Thank you, guys. My name is Mirza. Y'all have been a great audience. Anthony Kiedis with Red Hot Chili Peppers let himself go, man. What the fuck? <laughs>